relationship started and one ended within like 20 minutes. I don't think I can take any more, but let's go episode three. Welcome back guys, I'm Gord Cap, and we're heading in for episode three of The Circle season seven. I cannot take it anymore. So much has happened and we're only two episodes in. Two relationships have started, one ended within 20 minutes and the alliances are just all over the place. I cannot get my head around it. We had a surprise non-eviction or blocking, but I think this time it's all going to kick off. So I'm so excited about episode three. Let's go in. I love the starting music. I just can't wait to see what we end up with. A new day has dawned on the circle. Yes! Well, there's Darian with his muscles waking up in the morning. Big stretch. Oh, poor Judea. She's never been invited to a party before. She's never not been invited to a party before. I know what I meant. And she doesn't think it was that great to not be there. Obviously. Kevin looks tired. Still got a baby face though, eh? Oh, he's feeling bad because he has to explain why he didn't invite his girlfriend to the party. You don't like it, Savannah. You don't like it. They're still trying to get their head around. How's Madeline going to be? What's Garrett going to be like? And Garrett comes in with his, his top on. Deb is so keen to get talking to everyone. I think if she's not careful, she's really going to stand out like a sore thumb. So far, she just hasn't met the same energy as the younger ones. I don't know if that's because I can see her or whether it's the way she is in the chats. Somebody's getting blocked today though, Kevin. There's no way away. No way out of it. Savannah's fuming. She was so upset when he didn't invite her to the chat, to the party. He's so scared he's lost his alliance. What an excuse. You can't blame the blocking on inviting a different girl to your party. Sorry. It's all changed. She's all up for starting a alliance, but a secret non-alliance. She doesn't want to be on the sidelines. Kevin, you've burnt a bridge. I, I keep saying it. You don't still got it. She's playing you. Is he really that sure of himself? Like, really? I don't think he genuinely believes that he's okay. I love Savannah's game face. She was genuinely upset though. She was fuming that he didn't invite her. I can just, you can see it. Like you can see how upset she is still. So just trying to play it off. I said this in episode one, he's a liar. He's going to lie and lie and lie. And he's going to get worse. We don't believe you, Kevin. We don't believe you. You're full of, yeah. If you know what that meant, drop me a comment. He could never forget wifey and Sam. Oh, Kevin. It's wifey and Sam anyway. Who's Sam? Oh, Samson. <laughs> he was on Samson for a while. Where's my baby doggy? Oh, Kevin, bless your wee heart. You genuinely think she's okay with you after dumping her for another girl. Note to the guys, girls aren't daft. They know. They know. She's got beautiful hair, Savannah. I know most of it's extensions. I can see that. I'm not blind. But it's beautiful. That is some real circle, love. Post-it notes. That's a good game, Deb. Rachel. Just remember your age. You're in your 20s. Stay young. Good. She's sticking with the girls. I think that's a good game plan. She might slip herself up otherwise. And this is another thing, like Jojo and Nikki will not be able to see through it because they're not actually a girl. Now, everyone's just so curious about what happened at this bloody party. Gianna was the only one they can ask at this point. Like, and it must have felt worse that they didn't have connection. So they couldn't have a chat with each other. They went offline whilst the party was happening. That must like really get you, especially when you're on your own. The boys are actually playing a good game for a set of girls, like, or a girl between them. They're catching each other out on things that might give them away as a catfish. I agree, Savannah seems really, really genuine. They're really good at reading each other though. But then that causes a problem for somebody like Deb. 
Because when she slips up, they'll block it straight away. Why is Rachel a wild card, Judeha? Judesha? Why did she call her a wild card, though? What does Judesha know that I've missed? I need to know now. Those twins are so cute. Cute little concentration faces. <laughs> And the alliances have formed now after like episode two. And most winners are in every alliance and they, they, they play it well, but they stay in, in touch with everyone. Let the real game begin. Yes, Deb. Come on, Rachel. Everyone is so wound up about this bloody VIP party. That's a good game from Andy. Like formed a partnership with Madeline, she clocked that she was a rock chick straight away. So did I, may I just add. Clocked it before she even got into her apartment. Private chat with Madeline. Yes, Madeline. Andy has invited you to a private chat. Get in. But he's a girl. Careful. Actually, yesterday, in episode two, she made a comment about liking one of the girls. I think she might be bi or gay. Who knows? You're fully a dude now, Andy. Yes. That was a good message, considering you're a catfish. <laughs> Madeline's so funny. She's so sucked in. Is that genuine? Is she actually genuine? She believes this. But that's so funny. There's a third relationship kicking in now. They're actually cute. And Andy is a good communicator, asking all the right questions. Obviously they're playing a game, but you just, you wonder sometimes how genuine the messages are and if they get, they forget they're in a game. So cute, aren't they just so cute? That was a quick alliance, let's make it to the top together. You've only spoke for like two minutes. That's, I think that, that for me, I, that would come across as fear and I was be, I'd be like, Wait a minute, calm the hell down. I love these games, I just love it. Circle husband forever! <laughs> Michelle's like, yeah, until you meet. Keeping themselves busy in their own apartments. Look at this, brilliant. Clumsy. She's so good at the guitar, not. Alert! No! Cray Pop, it's a game! Yay! Let's play! Multiple choice pop culture, let's go. Which celebrity named their child X A. What? X A A X C. That's 12. Is it? Is it 12? I think it's Jared Leto. Who's Jared Leto? I know the name, don't know who he is. Who's Jared Leto? So like the artist formerly known as Prince. Yeah, I'm going Jared Leto. Let's have a look. Judesha knows it's Elon Musk. She's so confident about it. Must be a tech thing. Go. Who is it? Elon Musk. I was wrong. But now I need to find out who Jared Leto is because I feel stupid. What did Rachel say? She said the same as me. Do you know what? It must be a middle-aged thing. It must be a middle-aged thing. I said this yesterday, um, episode two. She's answering everything the way I would answer it. Yeah, I told you they're, they're clocking in on the age. Okay, next question. Which of these athletes have been in both the WWE and the UFC? I think... It's... Brock. The name Brock is in my head. Definitely not The Rock, I'm sure. I know he was in WWE. So they said it is Brock Lesnar. Fact. But the twins are going to answer wrong as part of the character. I love this. That's game playing. I get too competitive. I'd be like, yeah, I know it, I know it, I know it. So it definitely is Brock. So I was right. My general knowledge isn't that bad. I still don't know who he is though. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad I got it right, but I don't know, I think Gianna has been very clever by doing it like that. 
They're actually very clever. They're really intelligent. Well, good way to play the game. Question three, who of the following was Madonna romantically linked to? Mick Jagger, George Clooney or Sean Penn? It was Sean Penn. I'm sure of it. Because I'm sure there was kind of like a rift in the papers when I was growing up. Oh, okay. Again, age. Deb knows it's Sean Penn. Rachel wouldn't know it. She's younger. Younger people will get it wrong. Okay, I'm right. Let's see what they say. The young people won't get this. So it's Sean Penn. And they all said Mick Jagger because they think he's old. She's old. <laughs> They've just put two old people together. That is... I knew that would happen. Knew it. That's a strange game. This is a game to test their age and test their characters, the catfishes. Because the people who've been caught out are all catfishes. Except Gianna. Because they're intelligent. Which of these popular acronyms? I missed the question. Come on, show me again. Missed it. This is definitely a game for ages. What was... Stop talking, show me the question! I've missed the question, but they all... Which of these acronyms... Something something. I can't remember. I missed it. Is a compliment. HBIC, TLDR, NPC. NPC's no problem cutie, isn't it? No problem cutie. HBIC. How about... How about I check? Talk later. DR. Hmm? What is HBIC? I need to Google this. HBIC. How is that a compliment? Guys, until I can Google it, you need to drop me a comment. I've got, I just, I can't deal with this. You won't even see it. <laughs> Pop culture knowledge. What is HBIC? HBIC. I'll have to. I'll have to look later. Everyone is so sus with Deb. Her character Rachel has just given up. A lot of the age difference. That was such a setup. I think the circle has set her up now. They've set her up to end up locked. Because she's not fitting in. I don't think she's fitting in. And we're three episodes in. Just had three episodes to get sorted. Montage! What are they doing? What are they up to? We're dancing. We're playing drums. Yeah. Oh, she's a bit rough, isn't she? Alert! It's not ratings time. It is ratings time. I know my game. The top two players will become influencers. And we're three episodes in. So you still don't really want to be an influencer at this stage in the game. But you don't want to be the bottom. You really want to be about five or six. So the new players, Garrett and Madeline, can rate, but they can't be blocked. Or be rated. That must be so good to just have free reign. Oh my god. Okay, so my tops are now the twins. The accent isn't annoying me. Gianna is my top. Savannah's my top. She's just really genuine. I knew it. Madeline's going with Andy first. My bottoms are Darian and Judesha because they're cute together. How is Darian like number one bro with Kevin? When did that happen? I've not seen that at all. And thinks he's still on board with Savannah. She's his number one. He's going to be her last. Bet you he's her last. Deb, you made this mistake last time. Gianna was your first and she put you third. Second, currently. Oh, so Savannah did save Kevin as top. 
And Gianna's made you second again, Deb. Still not there first, but you're putting them first. That's not an equal partnership. Yes. Desha needs to stay in the top. These are good ratings. I'm so on board with everything everyone's doing. Who's last, Savannah? Gianna's last. Okay. So you want to keep Gianna out, Savannah, because you didn't manage to make her go when you were an influencer and your boyfriend invited her to his party. <laughs> Madeline's not pleased with you, Savannah. What did you do? What have you done? And everyone watching needs to remember this. We only see an hour of a 24 hour period. So some chats we don't know about. Submit my ratings. Ratings complete. I think my tops for today need to be Gianna and Savannah. And everyone else in the middle. My bottoms need, I don't know. I'm so conflicted. I, gen I don't feel like I've got to know anyone properly. Maybe because it's the first time I've watched it and always talking as well, so... Normally I'd be like so connected with characters. Why is Andy connecting with Darian? Then boys club still. Boys club! Uh, uh, uh. My dudes! I think everyone is myth about not getting to the party. I would be. But then you also want to know who's made an alliance during that party. Where's your risks? How do you make sure you don't end up blocked? Andy, come on. I wanted to let you know I felt so confident in our friendship. Lies. He's a liar. He's just a liar. I don't believe him anymore. I just think he's, he's playing games. And he said that when he entered. He's got to lie. He's got to lie his way through the game. Yes. Andy, yes. Or I did I not say this? At the end of episode one, at the start of episode two, Kevin is burning all his bridges at the same time. And they all they can all see it. They all see straight through him. So many couples in this one. Paired up really quickly. Kevin and Savannah, if that's still even a thing. Darian and Judesha, that's definitely still a thing. Andy and Madeline, that's definitely a thing. Anybody I missed? Everyone is starting to see right through Kevin. They're like, Savannah, but you invite Gianna. Everyone in the house ends in an R. Jadesha. Gianna. Kevin. Uh. <laughs> well, he's throwing shade on Rachel. She's trying so hard, She's so nice. But the twins have got her, and they're playing a good game. The twins are on on it, like a car bonnet. Okay, that was a good chat. I'm glad the boys and Andy had that chat. Individual activities, color by numbers, best one yet. Cooking, cooking, looking, cooking, good looking. Oh, you wouldn't want Andy to turn up, Madeline. <laughs> You'd be a bit surprised. ALERT! Don't stand on the coffee table. I've seen that go wrong before. The rating results are in. I'm worried as well. The top two rated influencers. The influencers must then choose. Will then choose to block from the circle. Just one player. And if that one player seems to be twins, then it might be two players. Oh, it's tough. Okay, come on. Jesus can't help you now, Savannah. Savannah's won! What? How has Savannah won? I didn't realize she'd made such an impact. What did you do? She shouldn't be last, surely. Maybe middle of the road, but not last. Fifth, okay. Savannah was last. I don't know, I think I said one, but I was wrong. She's last. Who's second last? I think it's Andy. I think it's Andy. Can't be Rachel. It's a double. Andy and Rachel. So I thought, I thought Rachel 
slash Deb had given up the age difference and maybe become catfish. But I knew Andy was down there as well. I was right. Somewhere in the middle. I was right. Joint fifth. The day is just four. I thought she was, I thought she was popular. Maybe it's just Darian that's looking out for her then. Okay, top three. Let's go, I think, uh, Gianna. I think Darian. And then I think Darian's three. Who did I miss out? So Gianna is an influencer. Who's missing? Kevin. How is Kevin an influencer? He's got to get rid of somebody I like. He's playing a good game with his lies. He's playing a good game with his lies. They're both influencers anyway. Gianna and Kevin. Who was first? Kevin's first! He can only go one direction. It's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse, Kevin. Gianna, you've done good. Because you can get higher. You can grow. You can grow from here. Who's Gianna going to save? Or oh, at least Rachel's safe. Oh, he's so cocky. He's number one, he's having a dance. But at least Gianna can save Rachel. I like Deb. Remember, from episode one, I'm the only one that relates to her. She's the only one that I relate to. That's what I meant. Kevin wants to get rid of Rachel. Alert! But we've only just, we've only just heard. It's now time for the influencers to decide which player to block. Oh, they play karate. They're karate. Savannah isn't happy. Go to the hangout. Enjoy. Live your best life. Save Rachel, boys. Come on, save Rachel. There's no twist. Whoever is voted is blocked. There's no twist. You're out. Love Deb. I relate to Deb. Who? Who would I want to go at this point? I would have said Kevin. But he can't go. He can't block Savannah. I told you, and I told you, episode two, they would go for Savannah first chance. And Gianna. No, they are Gianna, sorry. And who else was it? It was Andy. Open the influencer chat. Okay, here we go. They're so happy to be in the hideout. I really would have wanted Kevin to go. I'm gutted, he's top. I did not read this game at all. They play a good Gianna. These boys play such a good character. Leave Darian alone, boys. Yes. Keep Darian, I'm glad. I'm with you. I'll let you keep him. Mm. I don't know what he's going to do about this. This is where all the alliances get caught up, like... And there's some chats that we haven't seen. I'm sure of it. They're all playing parts in these conversations, and I'm like, well... Where does that relate to? And this is why I, my, I think my decision's off. Because I'm always right, obviously. Kevin's trying to save Andy, they're trying to get rid of Andy, because Andy got rid of them. I wonder if they're just going to let up, or if they're just going to... Stick to the guns, get Andy out. But we haven't got to Rachel yet. Kevin is going, he's gunning for Rachel. No, Kevin, don't tell them about your alliances. I'm glad he's saving Savannah, especially after he dumped her off the party. He didn't think he'd get away with it. Leave Rachel alone. Sus vibes. I love it when they get head to head and they can't make a decision. Because this is actually where the rifts start. All the alliances have been built, but when they can't agree on people, that's when they go head to head and they go against each other in the chat. So what is the compromise? These boys are so down to the down to the line. This is what's going to happen. No discussion. Andy out, Rachel here. He's so conniving and scheming he wants the money oh i love this they're so fighting with each other i love it 
They're all so stubborn. They're going to be there for a while, Michelle, you're right. And everyone's in their apartments, living the best life, doing their own thing, stressing that they're going to be blocked. The at-risk chat is now open. Because they're all at risk. Is that not just like a massive anxiety inducer? I, Deb, I'm with you. I don't know why Kevin's so popular either. Oh, Deb, don't ask that question about Kevin. Oh. You've just put a knife in your own back because if you get saved, everyone's like, she's against the good stuff. Nobody's liking it. Deb. Think like a 20 year old. What's wrong with you? Today's chat is so honest about everything. Oh, Jadesha knows. Jadesha literally just called her out. You're old, you're not actually Rachel. Oh, I think Deb's gone. Next episode. You heard it here first. I think Deb's going in episode four. Ah! No, I don't want to watch it. Because my favorite's going to be gone. Yeah, Deb, you're right. Play the game, but Kevin is playing the game. That's how he got to influence her. Can you not see? He's a liar. Hashtag players gotta play. She's done. Oh, she's angry. So angry. I know. I think she went. No. Sometimes silence is the best recipe. Rachel. <laughs> Head bitch in charge. HBIC. Okay. Deb, you've got this so wrong. Rachel's got this so wrong. Fana is really innocent. Yeah. 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 Save yourself, Andy. Don't get too involved. Watch from afar. Get involved from the side. Be clever. Because I like you. I want you to stay. Now Deb gets it. Now she understands. She got it all wrong. On one. This circle's not for the weak. That's fighting talk. Have you got it wrong? I agree, Savannah. She is setting herself up for a failure. I think she's let. She, oh. Everyone's on it. Everyone's all over that now. I know exactly who is up for blockage in the next episode. A girl. The boys have finally decided. Come on. Alert. The influence have made their decision. The twins were so on it. It's got to be Andy. They did not let up. They knew what they wanted. It's Andy. Yeah. Gianna did get it. Gianna knows exactly what she's done. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm sweating with you, Gianna. And I'm not even the one delivering the message. Neither are you. Kevin's delivering it. <laughs> Kevin, you deliver the news. You can fall from grace. You can lose your influencer status. He's playing such a good game, though, to get to that point. He needs to keep it up. He's got a long journey to keep that up for, though. This is the bit, and I'm just like, stop babbling. Just tell us who it is. Just tell us who it is. And you don't tell people you had to compromise. That's burning another bridge, Kevin. Oh my God, right, who is it? Come on. Circle sent. Okay, here we go, 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 here we go. Why am I seeing the building? No! You always do this, circle. You always end it. And then I'm left here waiting, like, who? Who is it? And I'll tell you something else for you guys. When I'm watching this, 
and I'm not doing reactions, I have to watch the next five minutes of the next episode before I go and do something else because of this. Because I can't just finish and then go and edit and come back to the next one. I've never experienced the circle like this. It's very disconcerting. It's very unnerving. It makes me nervous. You guys are doing this to me because you requested these. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm actually experiencing the circle like a normal person. Anyway, who do you think they've chosen? Andy or Gian? Andy or... Who else was it? I'm completely lost now. Rachel. Andy or Rachel? They had to come to one of those decisions or they completely flipped it and went with somebody else. That's another option. Don't forget to subscribe, drop a comment, let me know who you think it is before you watch my next reaction or the next episode and I will speak to you later. Take care guys, bye bye.